Good evening everyone. In this video tonight we'll do a reading about whether your house is haunted. Um, I had a request about health initially and the person thought that <clears throat> maybe it's their house that's affecting their health. So I'm gonna change it a little bit into whether your house is haunted and why you feel bad, you know, into that sort of question. So the energy of your house. If you'd like to participate, please think of your house and choose a deck. I have three different decks here, number one, two, and three. So take your time, please. Have you chosen? So let's have a look starting with our deck number one is your house okay the energy of your house let's have a look at the energy of your house something okay okay as you can see uh, we have a little bit of a little bit of sad cards here uh, we have this card to be the window or door area uh, the place where you look outside it can be a balcony it can be a window and um, maybe someone at some point saw something sad happening through that window maybe someone at some point was very sad when they were looking out of the window so we do have a um, big pain emotional kind of pain uh, it can be like lost love you know separation someone like maybe before you in that house maybe someone was kind of being sad and um, created lots of thoughts about something that was very painful for them. For, for example, uh, one-sided love, you know, they were thinking thoughts and longing for someone while looking through the window, waiting for someone who left them, who betrayed them. And there is a considerable amount of, you know, sadness. You know, it can also be that... Uh, it can be just a heavy thought energy, you know, I don't see like like horrible horrible energy or anything like that, but it can be some person or persons throughout time have produced a lot of similar thoughts that are sad thoughts you know, one, one can be, one is about illness you know, for example, someone had a surgery they were in pain, they were healing, they were thinking about it a lot. Another uh, can be lost love, they were waiting for someone a very long time, couldn't sleep, thought a lot, so that energy could have become very heavy and everyone who comes into that house, these thoughts are kind of want to be thought again, like they are the, the manifesting as some sort of physical entity. So we ha we might have that sort of heaviness a little bit in in the house, you know. Uh, how does this affect you? This type of energy. How is this affecting you? Okay, so well, these thoughts, it's you might sense it, you might feel it, it might be, um, you might think more than usual, you know, um, thoughts, unusual thoughts might come to your mind, um, various dreams and signs might come to you if you're a very sensitive person, and you know, and and whatever that is, that might make you want to fight back, you know, that those thoughts is kind of like maybe certain dreams 
that you don't like, maybe an energy that you have to keep cleaning, you know, and uh, with this Leo card, with the strength card here, it definitely is too much activity, too, too many like maybe dreams or signs or something that you you don't like, let's say, it, it tries a patience, let's say. So, is your house haunted? Let's have a look, is your house haunted? Um, so I don't see if I don't see it's very very haunted or anything like that um, but we do have some movement we do have some like heavy energy like a little bit of a movement of some sort of maybe thought forms or something masculine energy in the house but we have like children or uh, manly teenage energy but maybe boys boys and men type of energy we have two two people you know and but you know maybe someone's passing by sometimes like a spirit but uh it's like not there it's not really very heavy and very big not anything very evil or not very thing not anything very uh how to put it like poltergeist nothing like that what to do to 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 sort this out to to deal with these energies what to do okay it's like it's hard to do anything uh it is what it is that sort of like um thing and if you're afraid you have not you, you have to try not to be afraid you have to know that um you know you 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 can do things so the ace of wands is where you can take action you know you can just it's your will the power of your will you have to um, take it forward that you know that willpower that this is you know your house and that I'm trying to understand some sort of practical perhaps action needs to be done more with this Whether it's to, like some sort of like just stop, or, like maybe to stop uh, thinking and dwelling on it, you know, it can be um, and feel helpless or fearful, like a victim. If you feel that, you know, it's better not to feel like that, you know. Also, this card can talk sometimes about protection creating a protective some sort of um, circle from the white light you know around your house and yourself asking everyone to leave who doesn't belong there and you know being polite with it you know very important being polite with it and um, with these particular cards you can also talk about taking a certain physical action um, Either asking, paying someone to, to do it, also the cleaning, or like burning incense, burning candle, candles, you know, as well, cleaning the house, physically cleaning, the cluttering, etc. And um, creating a cozy environment, because this is like um, physical things. <clears throat> And I see in the in the future it's important to to perhaps have people over more, 
in the house have more like celebrations have more good time in that house play music um have friends over you know make that house more livable and more happy and actually do some something to actually achieve that like you know Will we be able to achieve that? Will we have the hangman? It can be that you will not rush. It can be that you'll be more drawn of doing the mental work, the spiritual work with your mind rather than physical work. You know, but I think you will achieve it, you know, in your own way. This card can also talk about meditation and various things you perceive in the meditation so maybe you will sort it out yourself maybe you realize something yourself okay, because of these cards we kind of see it more like wanting to be alone you know and feeling guilty about it wanting to be alone in the house and feeling guilty about it so so maybe it's a part of you know maybe it's kind of you and your house found each other you're similar in some ways you know because maybe we get attracted to certain houses based on um, where in life we are and what kind of lessons we have to go through so there's some sort of like maybe guilt about being alone or maybe it's some sort of even like you're a very intellectual person who wants to do a lot of research on your own uh, and you need to be alone in that space and you kind of choose it so so yeah how does it affect your health this your house <clears throat> okay so it does show that it does affect in a good way there is no negative influence it might even inspire you somehow we have this energy moving good financial energy as if this house is beneficial for you in earning money there's lots of kind of communication, lots of free movement, uh, lots of maybe so lucky for you even, you know. So that sort of situation, like this house is full of inspirational opportunities, even financial. So it's kind of like it is what it is. It's maybe has some sort of past, you know, thoughts, forms. From previous people who lived there that is sad so maybe you picked up on that but otherwise I think in a weird way it suits you you know like for now but it's still maybe it's saying to to try and um, maybe have people over have more movement more happiness in that house and perhaps that will solve the issue if not, of course, you can um, ask or pay to someone who does this job of cleansing their environments. Maybe you can ask that person to actually call them in and ask them to cleanse the, the house. Um, so this was our reading number one. Let's move on to our reading number two. Our deck number two. Is your house haunted? And we'll actually start with, by looking at the energy of your house. Let's start by looking at the energy of your house. What's the energy of your house? We have the Queen of Wands, 
Ten of Swords and Nine of Wands. Again, we have um, some dramatic cards here. So, so I can have a female. We have a female now. This female can be someone from the past who lived in the house or who's affecting, you know, who's guilty, who's responsible for this energy. And we have this person either struggling again or even passing away you know at some point like a young female youngish female of with the energy of fire fire sign you know leo aries and um um what else is a fire sign sagittarius and we do have something happening with it you might also feel that maybe you don't want to do anything in that house you know, like you're not enthusiastic at all you have no motivation everything is difficult everything is hard you're always tired and it's hard to work it's hard to be enthusiastic so maybe it's affecting it's like sucking energy or making everything very hard so let's have a look Mm. Is your house haunted? Knight of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. What's interesting, we do have very lots of people cards and they're moving. And we have again the female, like the main character. So maybe some female energy moving, you know? Female energy maybe coming passing by that sort of thing um why is that female energy there so wands seven of wands eight of pentacles well we do have a feeling of a very hard work a very hard work or a very hard struggle of like someone worked very hard there we have the ones very lots of heat lots of fire maybe okay, what kind of work what was happening the fool maybe she was young maybe she was very good as a person hard worker you know it can be that I'm thinking maybe the, the, your house has a history of for example someone especially a female um, um, trying to escape fire for example escape fire or and doing everything you know very difficultly to do that uh, another could be child labor something to do with someone young who was working there and um, had um, extreme maturity and had extreme uh, patience and you know a young person who had all these qualities and something to do with that you know how does this affect your health how does your house affect your health Queen of Cups, Judgment, the Tower, so, okay, so these cards, we do have you being represented as the Queen of Cups, very sensitive uh, person, maybe a water sign can be, but not necessarily, you know, Judgment can be again, uh, it can be that it affects your Judgment, you know, with the Tower, Effect, it might affect you in a way that you don't know what you want anymore you don't know what to do anymore you know it kind of makes everything fuzzy and you cannot make decisions and you're kind of indecisive you know it can make that spiritual or that common sense or that knowledge in general to be a bit phased um you know the tower like everything is unclear uh, you know you're losing your ground you're forgetting what who you are you know what are your values that sort of um it, it seems like you don't know 
what kind of decision to make. Five of Pentacles. Well, it might affect. Um, you might have weird aches and pains, unexplainable chronicle, kind of like without knowing where they're coming from. It might overall have this sense of difficulty, like everything is kind of hard, there's a hardship in life, although you might be not struggling financially at all, but it might make you that illusion that you, you should uh, experience a hardship or that you're in the hardship. And this might affect like your spouse and, and perhaps, you know, like uh, your relationship. You might suddenly feel that you're poor or you're struggling, although you might be quite well off. So it's kind of like illusion, you know, that maybe you're sensing the previous person's emotions. Okay, so what can be done here? What can be done? Okay, we have... King of Pentacles, Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands. Well, definitely, I think. It can be easily avoidable by some sort of material action, physical action. And I don't know, but with these cards, we either have some sort of money, riches. So whether it's, again, making the, the house look more beautiful, maybe it's sorting out that poverty thinking, maybe it's making it, bringing in some rich looking things, items that, to make the house look more expensive, and kind of invest in that house, make it more, you know, um, new and, you know, upbeat and more like, there should be the energy of winning and happiness and victory, you know, and not to give in to those thoughts of sadness. Some sort of nurturing and a very material kind of um, again richness, the world, success, lovers. So maybe everything in that house should be very positive in a way that very rich looking and when it comes to the lovers, if you have a partner, so perhaps it should even have like pictures of you being happy together, pictures of two animals, pictures of two humans, you know, being very happy, uh, nothing tragic, nothing alone, nothing poor, you know, can even talk of getting rid of some antique items i don't know like if they have associations with some sort of poverty or sad or kind of bad it's hard life hardships of course another idea here is that if you have a lot of money if you, if you have uh, it if it's possible then perhaps moving to a rich looking place um a better newer house or a better newer neighborhood or something like like that it should tell the story of success it should not tell the story of poverty and struggle so yeah that sort of situation will you succeed in fixing it well yes we have these of pentacles as the card of riches again the card of uh, wish fulfillment, the joy, the, the opportunities, and I do think that it's gonna, you know, bring that um, well-being, that energy of well-being into the house with these cards. So, yeah, 
so that's sort of reading we had here. Now let's move on to our deck number two. Okay, this is our deck number three. We're reading about the energy of your house. Is your house haunted? How does it affect your well-being? How does it affect your well-being? So, the energy of your house. Okay, have the Queen of Cups, the Rider. Okay, again, we have, I think everyone who's doing this reading feel there's something wrong with their house. But here, again, we have sort of like there's a little bit of loss going and perhaps this loss is to do with love. For example, losing someone, someone loves, like a lover with their Three of Swords or someone being missing, someone leaving the house, like a woman, maybe a young woman left the house or um, parents got separated or, you know, that sort of the, the, the cards of loss, someone leaving it, you know, and it being sad. Is your house so-called haunted house? <clears throat> okay, so we have two people again as if the family is leaving. No, it's not, I feel it's not haunted at all, but I feel that it's just you know, like empty or someone left or no one lived there or that sort of like complete emptiness. If there were people previously, they must have left somewhere. Maybe they left their things. Maybe they left their, you know, the country. So there's this, maybe you also have thoughts of leaving, you know, also their thoughts that they had. Maybe you feel them, you think them because they're just flying somewhere around in that flat so we have this kind of like financially motivated um some sort of uh moving away from uh, that flat or that place or or something like that how does that affect your health how does that affect your well-being this energy seems like it's okay from these cards like a family and it's fine everything is fine you you have your great family time with with your family and overall you're happy you're healthy you're and you know you're excited you can do your work you can mm, be cheerful when you want to be okay but we have this um with the moon How does that affect your well-being? It's kind of all okay, or in the family. But maybe, maybe there's a little bit of a um, distrust in your own um, skills, in your own creativity, but uh, you overcome it. You manage to overcome it, and... You manage to kind of push that away and still do the right thing. You know, you still manage to think clearly and, um, so to say, logically and, you know, I think unemotionally with this card. Maybe even scientifically in many cases. What can you do to improve the energy of your house? What can you do to improve? Well, this card shows you either not too interested or maybe you don't believe in this, but... Hmm. 
And this, what can you do? You know, maybe this points to wheels in your house. Any, any, anything with wheels, uh, any wheeled tables, anything that has wheels, like chairs with wheels or, you know, things like that. Maybe move them to another place. You know, maybe they are in the wrong place or you know, there's some, you know, not very harmonious effects that these things have on on the house. It's like refuse these wheels. Don't have them in the house. Also can be not wanting any change in the house. Like really any unexpected things you don't want. So how can you make it better? Well, we have a card of a young person, like a child. There's lots of patience with a child and children. Like children are important. Here, don't lose the patience when it comes to the child. We have some sort of um we have some sort of like studies or talents, maybe uh intellectual work that makes you money um but it says it's kind of not about a, uh, not about exterior of the house we had the wheel like change something about the wheel too many wheels or something remove the wheels remove move them to other places so that sort of thing we had other than that we have um more of a like you don't really care about exterior too much of your house or inside of the house, like interior, um, but it might be more important to, you know, what you think and what you focus on, so I think these cards talk about your talents and, and some sort of mental, intellectual work, and the child, you know, be, be patient for the child, and it talks about maybe expressing your powers intellectually in education in academia something like that being very confident in in those things uh, if possible earn the money in your house work from home you know that sort of feeling i'm getting i'm not getting like extra like special decoration or anything like that will you succeed in in cleaning your house, energy of your house. We have the Queen of Pentacles. I think you will. You think you're like a natural, like a housewife or, or house man or house husband. <laughs> but um, like you're good with, you know, with taking care of it and, and you kind of naturally will be drawn to, I don't know, make money from home, work from home do these things from home so so yeah and have empress and the rider of sword uh, yeah knight of swords it's like a typical house person housewife house husband And yeah, the family of three. We have the family of three. And uh, we have a pr probable parties and happiness. So, um, so I think everything you're doing, you're doing great. And I think you will manage to kind of bring that warmth and whatever you have to bring in that house and uh, to take care of your family and make it a cozy environment 
it's maybe just again too empty or there's a little bit of sad thoughts over or just the energy of absence and energy of travel and you know things like that so this was our reading number three not not one of these houses has very serious horrible energies it's all just can be you know you being sensitive and sensing things in some case you're sending the true things um but all can be kind of improved and cleansed so thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you again soon please share your suggestions for the future videos um in the comments below or you can send me an email at eaglecards123 at gmail.com and hope to see you again soon bye bye